getting named to that top 100 is that is that because it is such an impact at that feedstock level just what it what it can do in the when you talked about reduction can you yeah. expand on that where you and actually we'll get into the technology a little bit you're, you're sort of changing even the way well certainly the way i thought of four years ago i didn't think of a uh, I would think of it as a big bulk and, and you're sort of breaking it down right at the feedstock level yeah exactly and that's really where it all starts so as the as the, the mining community knows the traditional method uh, is a sampling method. So when the mine drills the, the holes to put the blast material in, as they're drilling, a pile of material is created and that pile is sampled. And then uh, those samples are sent off to a, an, an assay lab and a chemical assay is done. What actually goes, what's actually measured is grams of material. The, it's, it's little paper bags of stuff that goes in the lab machine and they come out with, um, with what's probably a very accurate representation of, let's say it's copper, how much, what the grade of copper is in that sample. The challenge is, is that then representative of what you pulled out of the drill hole, and maybe it is, but then the bigger challenge is that these drill holes are a very small amount of the volume and, the, and they're vertical. And so then there's that big interpolation exercise where you, know, you have 0.3 here and 0.4 there and 0.6 there. The mine then takes that information, more or less averages it, and then takes a large mass in copper, 3,000 to 5,000 tons typically, and referred to as a block. And that block is considered to be homogenous. And all the mines in the world know that's not correct, but it's the best method that they have without, without shovel sense. So with shovel sense, we now give them that visibility. We're incredibly accurate. Uh, and we have now have a grade and other ore characterization every single bucket. So instead of having dealing with, I'm going to assume that whole block of 3,000 or 5,000 tons is one grade, we now tell them exactly what the grade is every 50 tons to 90 tons, depending on the size of the bucket. And, and so that allows them to then, we tie directly in their fleet management system, we give them that same information at truck level. And so essentially we take over the, the routing designation uh, in the mine at the, at the pit, in the pit. <laughs> 